Northwest Missouri State versus Harding NCAA playoff game. Eight minutes, second quarter. Bearcats going to block a punt, recover deep inside Harding territory. That would set up a Simon Matisse in field goal. He had five of those today. Later in the quarter, big third down stop there in the backfield, led by Cass Weidel. Going to fast forward to the third quarter now. Bearcats stopped at the goal line. Matisse and adds another field goal. And then late, or about mid fourth quarter, Bearcats just going to put the icing on the cake of a 35 0 shutout with a Jordan Grove touchdown. He found three of those. We're going to now listen to Harding coach Ronnie Huckabee. Coach, you know what I'm going to ask you? What's that? <laughs> tell, me, tell me how you feel. Well, I mean, uh, it, it, it's still pretty surreal, just to be honest with you. Uh, I'm sure the, the gravity of the entire year and career and all that kind of stuff will hit me later on. Uh, right now, I'm just, you know, uh, I would say that I'm, I'm disappointed that we could make more of a game out of that game today. Uh, but again, going back to what I said earlier, you just have to take their, your hats off to them defensively and the way they prepared for this game. The talent that they have over on defense, how well they run to the football. That's a very long defensive football team, and they can fly. Uh, the Mike linebacker is is a major stud. I, I'm going to tell you this right now. I've been coaching a long time. I've been coaching in Division II a long time. There are a lot of FCF teams, FCS teams in America that would want nothing to do with that team in green over there. Uh, and uh, I believe that's the truth. Um, so anyway, you just. That's. Extremely proud of our kids' effort. Uh, <clears throat> you know, when you watch a game like today, you see the end result, but the, the uh, preparation that our guys had this week was absolutely uh, just phenomenal. You know, and I told them that Thursday night, I mean, we were, Emotionally wore down Thursday night, physically wore down Thursday night. You could just feel it. We all were, and uh, we kind of regrouped at the end, had a good huddle, and uh, had a great team breakdown. Everybody went home and got some sleep, and it was much needed. But our preparation going into today was just absolutely, uh, it was absurd the amount of time and energy our kids put into this week, and that's why we won. Um, our defense, i just so proud of our defensive staff and what they do. Uh, if you look across the country right now at any level, I just don't know if there's a better, I don't know if there's a better program playing better defense than we are consistently week in, week out for the last couple of years. Uh, our guys are smart football players. They're fundamentally sound. They know how to leverage a football. Uh, they do our 111th, and our game plan today was superb, and it was well executed. Uh, you know, just so everybody's straight, that was a really, really good football team. We just beat a really good team. We just beat. And uh, I'm, I'm proud of our guys. I thought our offense did some really great things today. We got a good lead. Um, what we did today on offense, if you look from a play calling standpoint, was a little bit different than what we've done all year. And it was trying to take their defensive line out of the game and their, their defensive line, just you know, a bunch of beasts. Their kids were hard, played hard, were big, powerful kids. So for the most part, I thought we did a good job of trying to neutralize them. We were double teaming them, chipping them. Uh, with backs and tight ends, trying to get them out of out of rhythm a little bit. Um, you know, offensively, I thought we did some great things. You know, the only thing was the turnovers. We got to get those cleared up. And and uh, probably the only thing, special teams uh, was great. Blocked a punt. Uh, punt team was good. The only thing I was a little disappointed in today is our red zone. And and uh, excuse me, that's a couple weeks in a row. And I don't know. We got to sit down as a staff and figure out what's going on in the red zone. We. Uh, that's my only concern right now. I don't know if I'm being too conservative down there or what, but that's something I'll uh, look in tonight immediately and get started on that. But extremely proud of our team and um, just it, uh, what they stand for and our seniors and, and the leadership they're bringing right now.